My name is Ryan Bunch, and the title of my book is Oz and the Musical, Performing the American Fairy Tale. Oz and the Musical is about how the musical as an American art form has helped to invigorate and to um, disseminate what has been called the American Fairy Tale. The Wizard of Oz, which began as a children's book but became a classic film and has been adapted to the stage subsequently um, in what have become some of the most popular musicals in the repertoire. And so the book is about how musical theater makes the American myth that is The Wizard of Oz participatory. So the research for this book comes out of my personal experience to begin with, uh, and then it takes a number of multi, mul multiple methods. It follows multiple methods. Uh, so I grew up loving The Wizard of Oz, the movie, the MGM film, as many kids of my generation and older did. It was broadcast annually on TV and you had to wait until it came on again to see it because it was before the days of, you know, home video. Uh, and so The Wizard of Oz was this important part of my childhood, but it really became an obsession when I read L. Frank Baum's the Wonderful Wizard of Oz and all of the series of Oz books that he wrote. And I eventually became a member of the International Wizard of Oz Club. Uh, I joined that club when I was 10 and I really became a scholar of children's culture at that time. Uh, I'm now the president of that organization. So The Wizard of Oz was the this important part of my biography. And in the meantime, I also became a musician. I majored in music in college. I did my master's thesis on Over the Rainbow as a queer anthem. And then I did some work with school and community theater uh, as a music director and became very aware that uh, Oz and musicals have a special close relationship with each other because the story has been adapted as a musical so many times. I hope that they'll take away a sense of how theater and performance and particularly how musical theater can serve as a kind of social script for performing what it means to be American. And that includes the performances of people who um, came to the musical from different backgrounds, immigrants, black people, suburbanites, <laughs> um, queer people, uh, they all contributed to the art form and um, the idea of performing yourself, performing brains, heart and courage, um, being able to um, perform in relationships that lead you home. Uh, those are kind of the themes of the book. Uh, as I look at different iterations of the musicals, starting with the 1902 version, which was an extravaganza, had a lot of ethnic stereotypes in it, but it was exploring the diversity of American life at that time. Uh, and then the MGM film, um, which has this kind of nostalgic idea about Kansas and America and Oz. The Wiz, which um, is a, a specifically African-American retelling of the story and claiming of the American fairy tale. And then Wicked, which is uh, a musical that kind of turns the whole mythology on its head, telling the story from the, the witch's point of view uh, and giving us a different perspective on that American story. I hope that um, my book can serve as one model for multiple modes of research and analysis. So I have this biographical piece that it comes out of. Uh, and then there's the historical piece. So doing research in archives, especially on the early musicals, uh, which again is something that started when I was young. When I joined the International Wizard of Oz Club, I started receiving their journal, which had scholarly articles about the 1902 musical. Uh, and then when I wrote the book, I went to the New York Public Library for the Performing Arts and found the, you know, the originals of all of those images that I had seen in the archive. Uh, and then, in addition to drawing on my own 
um, reminiscences, my own memories. I interviewed people, uh, adults and children, about their experiences with The Wizard of Oz. Uh, I went to see several school productions of The Wizard of Oz and The Wiz, which was really fun, and to see how much the community responded to those musicals and how it was exciting and important it was for kids to be in them. Um, and so that was a really joyful part of the research. Uh, I went to several, several schools on, on the East Coast and just um, took in those performances. So I interviewed people who had been in the shows. I saw some shows. It's a kind of participant observation. Um, and uh, so, um, and then um, part of how The Wizard of Oz and these musicals get um, circulated through the culture is through media and material culture. So thinking about toys and um, how those are used in musical performances to recordings. Um, people told me stories about how they played The Wizard of Oz to records or to a video cassette or something um, and would dress up and put on a show at home. Uh, and the, the music and the choreography provide scripts for those performances that then become metaphors for American childhood and American identity. Uh, so um, I, I hope that people would not be afraid to bring a lot of themselves into their research um, if that is something that, that they are comfortable doing because I think it's been really fruitful to put together with more traditional forms of, of scholarly work to, to enrich the project that I was working on.